And on this Wednesday morning, it's 653, 44 degrees. Here's a look at some of your top stories. Former Vice President Joe Biden winning more than half of the 14 states that were up for grabs last night on Super Tuesday. And that includes a surprise win in Massachusetts. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders won California, Vermont, Utah, and Colorado. Maine has yet to be called. You can find the full results on our website right now, WPRI.com and the WPRI 12 News app. Well, the results are in for Providence's Ward 1 special Democratic pri uh, primary. Excuse me, John Gonsalves is the winner. The Wheeler School teacher went up against Nick Ciccatelli, who works in real estate, and Anthony Santori, the owner of the Coliseum nightclub and Free Play Bar. Gonsalves says no Republican challenger, so he'll officially become the next Ward 1 councilman after the April 7th general election. Massachusetts State Police investigating a serious crash involving a car with Rhode Island license plates. It happened yesterday afternoon on the Linway. Police say the man driving the car was taken to Salem Hospital with life-threatening injuries. We looked up the license plate of the car, and it is registered to a local priest. We're not identifying the car's owner until either Mass State Police or the Providence Catholic Diocese confirms if the priest was one of the ones that was injured in that crash. Washington State reporting more deaths. At least nine people have died in the Seattle area as a result of the coronavirus. The state still trying to get a handle on exactly how many people could be sick. There have not been any other reported deaths in the United States. According to the superintendent of East Providence Schools, two East Providence school teachers staying home to self-quarantine. A teacher at Silver Spring School is the wife of a man who tested positive for the illness and was on that St. Raphael's Academy trip to Europe. A second teacher from the Career and Technical Center also traveled to Italy last month. And those are your top stories. On this Wednesday morning, you can check for updates anytime on the News app or WPRI.com.